And as far as you know, he's never had a general anaesthetic before? Yeah, as far as we know, he hasn't, yeah. I'll have a better feel when he's asleep. Greyhounds are really muscly, not much fat in their body, which means anaesthetic drugs are processed very differently to other animals. <coughs> Show no, it feels a bit funny. <coughs> Every time you think it's going smoothly, they can just throw a curveball and you're all into emergency procedures. Not breathing, breath holding. Come on. Good boy. Touched away, good boy. Come on. In Sydney, 18-month-old greyhound Caliban has arrived to see Audrey. Good boy. That's a good man. Hi, Nat. Hi, Hallie. Oh, Come on in. I've got a consult room ready for hey. you. Come on. Good boy. Nat from Greyhound Rescue has brought in the former racing dog to be de-sexed. And how did he come to your rescue? He was surrendered because he wasn't fast enough for racing. Oh, and just because you weren't fast enough? Yeah. Might be a good thing because you get to find a loving home, That's buddy. That's right. He's going to be an amazing family pet. Blessing in disguise. You can tell he's already a sweetheart. He is a real sweetheart, yeah. I do have a soft spot for greyhounds. My sister Alison has a rescue greyhound called Billy and he is the sweetest dog you'll ever meet. Hey buddy, oh, you're having a snuggle on my tummy. Aww. Callie is super cute. He's just one of those dogs that wants to meet everyone. As soon as he sees someone coming his way, his tail starts wagging and he's really beautiful. And I love a good snuggle. That's my type of dog, yes. He's not available for adoption as yet because yeah. he hasn't been desexed. Yeah, we'll find you a nice home. Yeah. You don't have to be fast. Before Caliban can find a forever home, he urgently needs de-sexing, but it's going to be a challenge. He's a little bit of a special one because he's crypt orchid, so his ah. testes haven't actually descended. So um, they're hiding up there somewhere. They're somewhere in there <laughs> for sure. All right, let's have a few of the back end. Sorry, buddy, we're going in for the kills. So definitely nothing sitting in the scrotal sack, both left and right there, not there. I'm just feeling in his inguinal area, so that's that skin under his leg. Even though desexings are very common in a vet clinic, Kelly is a little bit complicated because of his crypt orchid. His testicles aren't quite in the right position. They're not sitting outside in the scrotal sac, so they're either inside his abdomen or somewhere in between, and we've got to go fishing. And as far as you know, he's never had a general anaesthetic before? Yeah, as far as we know, he hasn't, yeah. I'll have a better feel when he's asleep. Caliban must now undergo surgery, but if Audrey can't locate his testicles, he'll be at serious risk. Oh, honey bunny. If those testicles are somewhere inside his body, they're at risk of a whole lot of complications. They could twist and become very, very painful, and even worse, turn into cancer. All right, well, I can admit him for surgery. Hi, Bree. Oh, hi, Audrey. This is Callie for Caliban from Greyhound Rescue. He's a sweet. He's only 18 months old, so Nat's brought him in for desexing. So we're going to pop him on fluids yep. and then give him his pre-med. While desexing Caliban is necessary to avoid life-threatening problems like cancer, Good boy. surgery to locate and extract them is also a risk. It's all right, darling. OK, let's give you a little bit more. That woke you up a bit. Are you OK there? Yeah. Greyhounds are really muscly not much fat in their body, which means anaesthetic drugs are processed very differently to other animals. <coughs> Show no, it feels a bit funny. <coughs> Every time you think it's going smoothly, they can just throw a curveball and you're all into emergency procedures. I'm also not happy with the balloon. Tell me when we see a breath. Not breathing, breath holding. Uh, minimal, shallow. I can't see in the balloon. Just because it's not the heart. Shallow. That's hot. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm heart. Yeah, that's hard. Heart. Heart. Heartbeat. Heartbeat. Okay, so far so good. Once Caliban's vital signs have stabilised... Yeah, let's just check there's no testicles here. That would make me... See there, what is that? Audrey begins looking for the problematic testes. It might be worth just doing a little incision yeah. and checking if that's it coming through. We can actually feel that there are two rounded testicle-like masses here. So I think it's going to be worth us just making a small incision in the skin to see if it is the testicle. Yeah. If it is, that's that will make the surgery a lot easier. Fingers crossed. Going slow because there's big vessels everywhere. How do you feel? 
It's not feeling promising. We thought that may have just been the testicle coming through, but it looks like it's just a bit of fat. We've got both testicles actually absent. They're not in the scrotum. Usually we'll see one might be still internal, but for Callie's special case, both mm -hmm. of them have decided to not descend at all. It's been quite difficult to locate Kelly's testicles today. We did think that it was possibly in the inguinal region, so just in that area where it's coming through the abdomen to the skin, but unfortunately that was just fat. So what I'll do is I'll just suture this up and then we'll go into the abdomen. So you want to keep anaesthetic to a minimum. Although prolonging the anaesthetic will increase the risk to Caliban, Audrey must now perform even more invasive surgery. Surgery gets a lot more complicated because we have to go into the abdominal cavity. So bigger surgery, bigger recovery. Greyhounds, as you know, the anaesthetic can be quite risky. Heart rate's at 67. Lovely greyhound heart rate. It's always a bit of a stress pressure if you're not going to find it. Sometimes it can be really small that it's really hard to find at all. Okay, not yet, not yet, not yet, almost. That looks a bit like a testicle. There we go. This is the biggest side really because you found it. We're going to look in the same position on the other side and bam, there it is. Thank you, Miam. I'm really excited that the surgery's gone well and lucky for us, we managed to find both of Kelly's testicles, which can be a really, really difficult task. You're taking away his manhood. I am. I'm also taking away a whole lot of other problems. Testicular torsion, testicular cancer. Well, you know, he'll still be a man. He's twitching here, but I think I'm going through nerves. It's all right. So I'm closing up the layers of the abdomen and then onto the next stress, which is the recovery. I am noticing that Callie is bruising quite easily. As well as the danger during surgery, greyhounds can also be at great risk following an operation. So to add to the mix of everything greyhound, 30% have a condition called fibrinolytic syndrome. And this is a type of bleeding disorder that greyhounds get. Post-surgery, their clot breaks down really quickly and that can cause severe bruising or even bleeding to death. One, two. Because we just don't know which greyhounds have this disorder. So we've got to be really careful when they recover from anaesthetic and surgery. Kelly. Good boy. Hi, Kelly. Looks like he's waking up now, thank God. Good boy. I'm pretty pleased with that anaesthetic. It all went really smoothly. All things considered with yes. greyhounds. Yeah, he's a sweetheart and he's recovering really nice. Mm. We have some special treats for you. <gasps> Been waiting all day. Yeah, poor thing. <laughs> Nervously waiting for Caliban to recover is Nat from Greyhound Rescue, who saved the 18-month-old when he was no longer wanted by the racing industry. Unfortunately, it turned out to be quite a major surgery, which is something that you know can definitely happen with this kind of procedure. So it doesn't mean he's gonna have a little bit longer recovery, but at the end of the day, it's gonna be fine and we'll be able to find him his forever home. All right, you wanna come you out? Go? Let's go see Nat. Let's go. She's waiting for you. Hello, baby boy. Hello, darling. I'm Sally. even more snuggly than I normally am. Hey. Good. Boy. But actually recovering really well. So everything couldn't have gone any better than it did. I'm really happy with the whole protocol. And we found them both. <laughs> so, we did have a bit of my work cut out for me. Okay. They wanted to drop, they just didn't quite get there. <laughs> didn't quite have the willpower, my friend. He's a good boy. You're ready to have a little treat? I'll give you a little snack. Okay, what have we got? <gasps> What's mama brought for you? Oh, mm, I love that one. Oh, yum, yum, yum. Oh, you want some more? Yeah, oh, yeah. that's the way. You deserve Good it. <laughs> <laughs> yummy, yummy. We were really lucky to win the Save a Life inaugural Buddies grant, which meant that we were able to spend $50,000 making upgrades to our rescue centre. So we built these beautiful sensory gardens to build trust with them and to explore new experiences. And our hounds love their treats, which is a super bonus as well. Anyone, I would judge. <laughs> yeah, do you do that too? Don't tell anyone. What's this, baby? I'm really happy with how everything's gone today. The anaesthetic's been nice and smooth. The surgery was a success. And I'm excited to reunite Kelly with Nat. I'm excited to tell her the news that he's ready for a forever home and hopefully he'll have a happy life.
Yeah, good boy. He's going to have no problems finding a home. His no, temperament he's is absolutely chef. adorable. Yeah. He's a big sweetheart. Hi, I'm Dr. Danny. If you enjoyed this video, then please remember to subscribe to the Bondi Vet YouTube channel. Click on the screen now to continue watching more great content.